Emil Zafari in the very cool black and skeleton pattern shorts. Simone Patrici in the solid black. I want a pair of those shorts, Paul. <laughs> I was just looking at those. I'm a, I'm a recovering goth, so they run up my alley. <laughs> nice jab there from uh, Safari. <laughs> Nearly got cleared. Well, got tagged with that left hook coming in just as he entered for the shot. Nice uh, double leg. Of course, we talked about Reis Madadi in the corner. This is what he, he did so well, pinning guys up against the cage, getting those takedowns, landing the ground and pound. Oh, nice elbow there and a big knee. Big, knee. big right hand too. Safari looking to upset the crowd here. Nice one-two there now by the Italian. Nice jab there from Safari too. He just seems to be out of range when Patrice throws. They're only clipping him ever so slightly on the nose, the chin. They're not landing flush. Nice double leg takedown here. We see if he can make the adjustment as the fight wears on. Don't forget to join in the conversation tonight. Use the hashtag CW154. We want to hear your predictions for this fight. We want to hear your predictions for our main event and indeed our entire main card. Also, let us know if you've got tickets to any of our upcoming Cage Warriors events. The Cage Warriors Summer of Fun starting very, very soon. CageWarriors.com for tickets and event details. Safari so doing nice work on the cage, clinching up well, but just not seem to be completing anything. Oh, jab snaps the head back there. His body kick still really leaned onto that jab. Yeah, big red welt already across the midsection of Patrizzi. Nice left hand there, though. Beautiful entry for the takedowns. Time of these entries really, really well. Patrizzi trying to kick away there. A nice posture here from Safari. Like to get him past one of those legs, even into a half guard position, and then go to work. Because the danger is always with a, 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 a tall guy like Patrizzi, the triangles, Kamara's, all that stuff. There's a half guard, but he does have a knee shield in. It's it's really hard to close the distance when the, the man on bottom has that knee across the belly. Here's a back take attempt. Nearly gets it on the roll. Could be a triangle, bails out the front door. Patrizzi straight back to his feet though, and straight back to it. I think he's been swinging that hook all night, uh, Patrizzi. Safari barreling in. Yeah, but I do think he sets it up really well, but... OK, the, the, the overhand might land right, cleanly. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop but because he's coming so forward with uh, the position. momentum, the position. he does get Fight. the takedown. Don't stop when your gum shoot comes until I say stop. Get your hands out Dumb of the cage, please, just warning Get your fingers out Safari of the cage, Safari there please. not to stop. He, he stopped fighting and started reaching down for big, the gum shield. Big elbow. Oh, big shot. Huge he's shot hurt. from Safari. Patrizzi trying to recover here. He lands one of his own. Right hand for Patrizzi. Patrizzi still not right on his feet here, I don't think. In 20 seconds. He just needs to circle off, get out of this round. Put your fingers, please, Amit. Patrizzi firing back, though. Appears to have his legs go, back go, underneath go, him. Go, 
Good first round yeah. for our main card. I do know what you're saying about when you take it. It, look, it might look like he has his legs back, but when you take a couple of big shots like that, you do need to be saved by the bell. A full minute to sort of recover. When it comes back out, uh, I think you'll be a little bit better. But if you get tagged again with one of those big shots by the, just there, it's lights out. There's a big left hand there from Safari. Trying to take the back here. And we're going to see that big shot now towards the end of the round. Peach of a right hand and a left behind it. A couple more there from Zafari as well. And I would argue maybe that's enough to take the round for Zafari. Yeah, I'd go with that. I think it was doing the clean. I walk up the two right through the five minutes. And I'd expect, uh, again, another big takedown from the start. Big overhand right, Rush in. Or he might think that Patrice is hurt and go to walk up top. The crowd certainly get behind Simone Patrice. And it looks like he has his feet together now, all right. Of the both landing big shots now. Patrice is swinging. And important, obviously, Paul, between rounds for Patrice's corner to calm him down, to get his head back in the game. Yeah, big time. You know, when you get tagged like that, you, you fight, it's tend to fight down the gum shield, say, I'm fine, I'm fine, and, you know, keep going. But like that, you need to get them, bring that heart rate down, give them the confidence going back into the second round, so you're OK here. And let's get back to the game plan. Nice entry for the double leg here. Beautiful walk from Safari. Yeah, nice wrist control over the far side. Look for Safari just to rain down some shots on here. Bit of blood on the chest of Patrizzi looks to be coming from Safari's nose, perhaps. Yeah. Patrizzi trying to throw the elbow in close there. They separate. Back to the center of the cage. Patrice giving Safari a lot to think about in these exchanges. Oh, you know, Shrey had just caught him coming in as he was trying that looping left hook. I think Safari's going to shoot here for a double. Nice counter straight right there for Patrice. The crowd making a lot of noise every time he lands something. There's a furry spinning the mouthpiece out there. Stay there, stop, stop. Stay there, stay there. Keep that gum shooting, you spat that out, back in position. And you hear that Keep mother, Andy. Don't spit it out. Giving him the warning there. Clear as day, spat that one out. Yeah, I think he's just trying to play the game here, get an extra five, ten seconds breather in between rounds. Exchanging jabs there. I think Safari's setting himself up here, yeah, just for the double leg, as I was about to say. I think this is his best walk, is where he's letting the, the takedowns a big ground pound here. A couple of big elbows there from Patrizzi. Oh, on Patrizzi, rather. Just a warning for target those shots from referee Dan Mulvaney. I'd like to try to see him on the right side. Instead of having the overhook that most people have, swim back and underhook, and he can square a man back off the fence. Big swing and a miss from Patriti. Yeah, both guys wearing the fatigue of this fight. 90 seconds, just under in the second round. Safari just looking up at the clock. 
See how much time he's got here in the second. A little over a minute to go. Both men still throwing with bad intentions. Tafari trying that front kick. And again. Bit of a slip there, nearly caught the kick on the way back up though. Chichi just there, uh, trying to take down on his own here, didn't quite get the entry he wanted, so bailed out at the last minute. But don't know why he's throwing these uh, looping shots over the top. Final 10 seconds of the round. Nice left hook lands for Patrizzi. And this may very well come down to who has the better gas tank in the third round, Paul. Yeah, I think uh, I think Safari looks the lighter of the two here. Hasn't taken as many big shots as Safari, uh, as uh, Patricia, I should say. Um, I think it's Safari who's fight to lose, in my opinion. Uh, if he doesn't put if he doesn't put a step wrong here in the third round, it's definitely Safari's fight to lose. But uh, yeah, good fight so far. Trying to kick the leg out there towards the end of the round. And uh, icing the knee of Emil Safari in the blue corner. And they, they appear to be doing something to the glove of Safari as well. I think they're just cutting off a bit of loose tape. Mulvaney just making sure he's happy with the glove of Zafari. He's full time here. Go there, come here, come here. Come on, Angelo, excuse me. Go there for me, go there. Open the gate. That's the one job I asked him to do. Angelo, just cut that off. And again, there's a, a bit of loose tape on the glove, I believe, or a bit of loose hand wrapping. Referee Dan Mulvaney getting that dealt with. Round number three. Third and final round, Emil Zafari, Simone Patrici. Brad Wharton and Paul Redman privileged to call the action here from Cage Side tonight. Nice no shot, shot to Patrici I think maybe more of a slip there yeah. from Safari, but Patrizzi landing a couple of nice punches. Safari coming out on top, though. Guillotine attempt here, maybe. Darcy, even if you look at his left hand, he's swimming over the top. I mean, these guys are throwing everything but the kitchen sink at each other here. Yeah, and it's a frantic pace, right through from the first round, right through to, the uh, to where we're at now. Um, good gas tanks on both. I'd like to see uh, Patrizzi punch that left. He's just let go of the, uh, on the hook now. Oh, it's a huge run! Safari has gone down!
What a comeback. Patrizia was telling us earlier in the week, Paul, the, uh, the reason for his nickname, the White Shark, is he actually has a fear of sharks. I think after that performance, there's going to be some sharks with a fear of Simone Patrizia. <laughs> In Rome. What a shot, Paul. Talk us through that finish. Yeah, they were just in a clinch coming out from the uh, from the cage. They broke away. Uh, so Friday was caught with his hands out on a push shot, trying to hold back the coin clinch. And a right hand came over the top by uh, Patrici. As soon as the right hand landed, it was on Patrici, hit him a couple more shots, and Dan just stepped in. Yeah, great stoppage there from Dan Moverheny. Let's take a look at the Aurora MMA corner. Very happy with that man's work. As well they should be. What a performance from Simone Patrizzi in the third round. Commiserations to Emil Zafari, he pulled an excellent fight. But tonight belongs to the White Shark. Here's Mr. Howell Chaplin. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Daniel Moverhead, he calls the stop to this contest after one minute and 22 seconds of round number three, declaring your winner by way of knockout in the red corner, Simone, the white shirt!